Hello Aquarius, this is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts with your bonus reading for the second half of December. This is actually the last of the bonus readings that I will be doing for 2019. And you guys actually came in second as the most viewed video for the second half of the month. So thank you guys so very much for that and for all of the love and support that you've shown me all throughout the year. I appreciate it so very much. This is a general reading as always, Aquarius. It's not going to resonate with every single person tuning in. So please do take from this whatever makes sense for you and your life, your situation and relationship, and release what does not serve you. If you are interested in your own personal private reading, all of that information is down below in the description box, and I will have a list of all of the card decks that I use during my readings, Aquarius. Okay, guys, so let's get started. What I have in front of me are the two card decks that I have chosen for the bonus readings for this latter half of December. The first is the Zodiac Barbieri deck, which is going to tap into some signs and elements that might be of importance to your life the second half of the month, as well as moving towards the new year. So let's take a look at that, and then we'll pull an additional focus message from the Moonology card deck. So let me set this aside. Let me go ahead and grab some cards from the Zodiac deck, and let's take a look and see what needs to come through for this bonus reading. And this is basically a timeless reading Aquarius, so whenever you're guided to tune in and watch this. Capricorn might be of significance to some of you. Let's grab one more. And Taurus. Okay, so those are the two signs that are coming forward for this reading Aquarius. So if those signs are of significance to you, of course, you'll know that right off the bat when you hear this reading or these are people that will be coming into your life, possibly the second half of the month, and that connection will be moving forward in 2020. For some of you, this could be a new love connection. So just be open to the possibilities of these two signs making an impact in your life for this reading Aquarius, okay? So let's go ahead and add to this with some Moonology messages. Angels and Spirit Guides, please, for Aquarius, for this bonus reading, please bring forward an additional focus message for Aquarius. I'm guided to this one. The energy is gaining momentum. So that's good. That's tapping into the waxing moon energy there. So perhaps you've been working on something in your life, either through a personal endeavor of yours, a goal, a dream that you've been wanting to manifest. Perhaps it's been going a little bit slow and you haven't been seeing a whole lot of progress there. This is letting us know that whatever it is that you're working on, Aquarius, that's actually gaining momentum. So it has the capability of manifesting and coming to fruition for you, if not the second half of December, definitely moving towards the new year. So that's something to look forward to. Okay, guys, so let's go ahead and start with the rest of the reading. Let me go ahead and grab my go-to deck here. Sorry, let me just grab it here off to the side. So this is my Mystic Moon Oracles deck. I'm trying to rearrange my desk here. So I've got my cards kind of arranged in a funky set up here. So sorry for, for that. Let's go ahead and get started. So angels and spirit guides for Aquarius, please. What messages need to come through for this bonus reading? What messages would benefit Aquarius most for this reading? Please bring it forward. All right, guys, let's take a look and see what messages you would benefit from at this time. For Aquarius, please, angels and spirit guides. Okay, we're starting off with material world. And I was just basically tap, talking about that with that energy is gaining momentum. If something that you've been thinking about or working on, and if that's got something to do with your finances, your career, your job, your livelihood, your source of income, whether money's been a little bit tight for you or if you've been struggling in that area, things are starting to move and gain momentum. 
moving forward. So that's actually a good thing, especially if you have been struggling financially, especially Aquarius. I do feel that things are going to start improving for you. Okay, the next card is shadow work. So somebody who's working in the shadows might not be wanting to share parts of their life with people that they're close to, whether it's friends, family, or even a romantic partner, somebody that you're thinking about for this reading. So this could either be you, of course, Aquarius, or the person that you're thinking about, somebody who's just preferring to be in the shadows right now. Next card is Solitude, and this is very similar to the Hermit card in traditional tarot. Typically, it is Virgo energy. The ruling planet of the Hermit is Mercury. This is inner wisdom. This is somebody who is possibly a loner at this time. Also, somebody who's lonely. Okay, so if you're resonating with that Aquarius, if you happen to be in that melancholy type state, in your heart space it might be picking up off of that but it's also a time for you to just quiet the chaos around yourself and stop and still your mind if you are trying to figure things out for yourself you're searching for answers to whatever problems are plaguing you at this time and it's a great time to meditate and to just reevaluate where your life has been reflect on how you can improve the quality of your life we're coming towards the end of this year, so it's really a perfect time to be thinking about those things. January, for some of you, is certainly entering your birthday month, and it's a great time to really get rid of things that no longer serve you and start the new year off on a great foot, okay? Next card is family. So for those of you who already have family or perhaps this is something that you're wanting to manifest in the new year in your life with somebody special that you might be thinking about for this reading. Could be tapping into that or you already have a family with this person. So there are children and families that are coming through here. Cycles are also being reflected in this reading. So something needs to come to completion in your life. And again, it's a perfect time for things to come to completion considering the year 2019 is about to be over. You know, we've only got a little bit of time left this year. So whatever it is that needs to be wrapped up in your life, it's a good time to kind of tie up those loose ends. The next card is guide. You're being guided towards a particular path here, Aquarius. So follow your gut. You know, going back to the solitude card, you got to go within Pay attention to your instincts. You can actually find solutions to issues that are overwhelming you at this time. Also, in regard to connections from the past, the Hermit card, that Solitude card, has the capability of bringing people back to you from the past. They're coming back into your life. Whether that's a good thing or a not-so-good thing, that, of course, depends on your situation and how you're open to welcoming this person back. Typically, it does bring forward some good elements because more than likely it's somebody that you miss, somebody that you are thinking about, you guys are in separation or at a distance. Perhaps you've been wondering what, what they're up to, what's going on in their life. Capricorn and Taurus is reflected here, so for some of you it could be that person who's coming back to you. Interestingly enough, we've got the tribe card right after that which is very similar to the family card. Your tribe is family and or friends that are very close to you. This is your circle. These are the people that you can depend on when times are tough, when you need that shoulder to lean on. They're there for you. And perhaps for some of you guys, especially who are in this loner mode of that solitude card with that hermit energy, Perhaps you haven't been wanting to engage with people and it's reminding you that whether or not you want to interact with your family and your tribe, they're always there for you. So don't forget that you actually have a really great support system. Next card is the mask. So some of you guys, part of the issues that are going on here is that you may have dealt with somebody who was being dishonest with you pretending to be something that they're not, wearing a false mask, putting on some type of facade. 
trying to act as if they were just a totally different person, but beneath the surface, they're someone else, you know? So this is coming through as dishonesty, lies, and it could also be third party situations for some of you. Okay, so whoever is relating to that. We do have self-worth being indicated here for Aquarius. So this is tapping into your self-confidence, how you see yourself. And if somebody has hurt you by way of a third party or lying to you, being dishonest or however way they hurt you, could be a Capricorn, could be a Taurus for some. But this is coming through to let me know that a part of the cycle that's coming to completion for you, Aquarius, is that you are weeding out those connections and experiences that are no longer serving a purpose for you. That's a part of this solitude card too, because you're kind of going within. You're not wanting to deal with a whole lot of chaos. You're just wanting peace and quiet, especially in your headspace and in your heart to be able to figure out what it is that you need to do to create a different plan for yourself moving forward. And I really feel for you, Aquarius, that 2020 is going to be a really good year. The energy is gaining momentum in your life. That's really good. I do love this card of healing because I do feel that some of you guys really need that. Allow this healing to happen. However long it takes, have patience to see it through because you cannot rush a healing process. It depends, of course, on how that healing is happening in your heart space and in your life. But just allow things to come back into balance and allow whatever area of your life needs healing to happen. Because part of this healing is what's going to allow certain cycles to close itself out and phase out of your life so that you can let it go once and for all and move forward. You've got a lot to look forward to in the new year, okay? All right, guys, so let's add to this with some Twin Flame Journey Tarot. You don't, of course, have to identify with a Twin Flame connection. That is just the name of the card deck. So angels and spirit guides for Aquarius, please, what else do we need to know at this time? What else do we need to know, Aquarius? Please bring it forward at this time. Angels and spirit guides, please. What else do we need to know for you, Aquarius, for this bonus reading? What else do we need to know? Okay, we've got the Eight of Swords in the upright. It does say imprisonment. That is air energy, Libra, Aquarius, of course, your own energy, as well as Gemini. It's coming up reversed, okay? So the Eight of Swords... In the reverse is self-acceptance. It is a new perspective and it's freedom. I love it because if there has been any part of your life that's been stagnant or where you feel, again, that there just hasn't been enough progress, that's changing now. It truly is changing. So allow these changes to happen. Because once we accept the direction that our life has gone. It gives us that new perspective that we need in order to tweak what needs to be tweaked, create a different plan if you have to, reevaluate the situation, see what it is that you need to change so that you are ensuring that the road ahead is actually very successful for you. So I do love that. We have the King of Swords right after that, more air energy quick wit and intellect that is the part of the energy of this king you might be dealing with someone like that and for some of my aquariuses this could certainly represent your energy especially if you are divine masculine or if you're thinking about a divine masculine fellow air sign could represent this person for those of you who are sharing a family with this person that you're thinking about for this reading could be that king of swords as well it's interesting how we've got the queen of cups right after that this queen is very intuitive and sensitive for my divine feminines this could certainly be picking up off of your energy cups are typically water signs so cancer scorpio or pisces for some of you 
This person could be playing a significant role in your life. So we've got two people that are represented here. We also have the Four of Swords followed by the Fool. And I'm guided to pull this Three of Swords energy as well as the Nine of Swords. So we've got quite a lot of swords here, a lot of air energy. We've got the Six of Pentacles right after that, followed by the Ace of Wands, and I am guided to pull the Sun. Okay, so we've got some pretty nice cards reflected here. So part of the energy, Aquarius, of the Four of Swords is that there is healing, again, that is needed here. This is healing and recovery. This is somebody that needs to take a break. So this could be you needing to just take a break from all of the issues going on in your life, just needing to take a step back, go into solitude mode, figure things out for yourself. And that's okay. That's a good thing that you need to do for yourself if you feel that you need it. Because it's giving you the time to recuperate and to just rest. If life's been a little bit chaotic and stressful, this is giving you that rest period to just chill out for a minute and rest. And look at this. You've got the full card right there. Activation. It all starts with you. There is a new beginning that is coming in for my Aquariuses. And what a perfect time of the year for this new beginning to happen because we're right around the corner into our new year of 2020. So don't be afraid to welcome in the fresh start that the fool can bring you. Don't be afraid to take risks. Take that leap of faith. That's what that fool card is all about. Be spontaneous. Be adventurous. Welcome in the new year with excitement and optimism. Trust your ideas. Trust your plan and believe that it can manifest wonderful things for you. Some of you guys might already be an entrepreneur or that's what you want is to open up your own business. You can have that. That's a part of the energy of that full card. Okay, so moving on, we've got the three of swords. This is more air energy. That is heartbreak. That is heartache over a separation. So some of you guys are not together with the person that you want to be with. Clearly, it's indicated here that your heart is still healing. So allow that healing process to continue. We have these two signs here, Capricorn and Taurus. For some of my Aquariuses, it could be either one of those two signs that have broken your heart or that have hurt you. We've got the Nine of Swords right after that. This is somebody who self-sabotages, somebody who's staying up late, losing sleep over this whole situation. This could certainly be a part of your energy, Aquarius, if this is something you can relate to. Right after that, we've got the Six of Pentacles. So Pentacles is Earth energy. We've got Capricorn and Taurus there already, and it could certainly be Virgo for some of you guys. This is the need for equality, the need for compromise, the need for balance in your life, Aquarius. And I feel that you are working on that. I do feel that. The Six of Pentacles also taps into your generosity that you are a very giving individual or you might be dealing with somebody who is very giving to you, very generous in nature, falling right below the Queen of Cups. So for some of you, it could be this Queen of Cups that's being very generous with you, very giving of their time, of their energy, of their love to you. We've got this Ace of Wands coming through here, so that's Fire Energy. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius for some of you. Now, in regard to a love connection, if you, you're in separation, especially from a fire sign, this is telling us that there's still a spark there between the two of you guys. Energetically, that fire never went out. It's still there. That flame is still very much alive between you and this individual. You know, the energy is gaining momentum. That could be in your love life as well. And I'm loving how we've got the sun right here. One of the best cards. The best card, actually, in tarot. It's beautiful. 
more fire energy, so more Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. Beautiful card. I mean, success, Aquarius. Joy, happiness. It really is the most positive card in tarot, and it's here for you. If life has put you in a very dark space in 2019, 2020 is going to be very different for you. It's going to be bright and happy. This taps into optimism, enthusiasm. If you've been having health issues, this is telling me that your health will improve. It's bringing forward your vitality, restoring your vitality. This is prosperity. So again, if you've been struggling financially here with the material world, that's going to improve. That's going to gain momentum as well. For those of you who share a family and if the family has been separated for some reason, if you have had issues in your marriage, that could certainly be reflected here. The sun is picking up off of unions and marriages. So for those of you who are in separation, there's a potential that you guys can come back together and work through those issues and allow that healing to happen. For those of you who are wanting to escalate your relationship towards the next level, which is by way of proposal of marriage, some of you guys might actually have that happen. Either before the end of this year or into 2020. That is certainly a potential here for some of my Aquariuses. So it's beautiful. All right, so let me set some of these guys aside just so I have a little bit more room on my desk here. And then we'll go ahead and add some Romance Angels to this. So Angels and Spirit Guides for Aquarius, please. What else do we need to know at this time for this bonus reading? For Aquarius, please bring it forward for me. What else do we need to know? What else do we need to know, Aquarius? Especially in love and romance. Healing family issues. Is that not interesting, guys? So this is telling us, and it's very prominent in this reading, that there's a family dynamic that has been hurt by something here. And it says your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So Aquarius, if you are quote unquote, the child in this scenario, if you grew up in a, in a household where perhaps your parents did not have the ideal relationship and there were challenges there that could have affected you to where it's affecting you and your relationships today as an adult and how you interact with people in a romantic connection. And if you are the parent, this is telling you that your children may have been affected by challenges in your marriage or in your relationship. So that needs healing for sure. It's being addressed here. The next card is calling in your soulmate. There is a soulmate out there that you're calling in Aquarius and or they are calling you in. Someone's been praying about this. Somebody has been basically picturing what it would be like to come back together. And energetically, if this is you, Aquarius, you can manifest that if that's truly what you're focused on. That's a part of that momentum that's building speed here. So you can certainly manifest that. And so can the other person that's focused on you. Positive affirmations bring forward positive results. Pay attention to the red flags that brought you guys into separation to begin with. That as well needs to be addressed. That needs healing as well. There are signs that are cautioning you. So you got to address those things in order to not repeat the patterns that brought you guys into separation to begin with. And it is acknowledging the separation here. Time apart from your partner. So it's already addressing that here for those of you who are already there. Okay. But look at this. We've got honeymoon reflected here. The message of this card reads, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. And I feel for those of you who have the opportunity to reconnect either with your spouse or somebody that makes you feel as though you might as well be married to them because you guys are so 
connected. I feel the holidays might actually be a really nice time for you, for those who are resonating with that. You might even be thinking about going on a trip for the holidays. That's coming through here. For some of you, the person that you're thinking about for this reading is coming forward as your true love. It does indicate that this is the romance of a lifetime. And I, as I mentioned earlier, especially with the sun, with mergers, unions, and marriages, there's an engagement coming through for some of my Aquariuses. Again, that could happen before the end of this year. There's a lot of surprises that may happen for Christmas, during the holiday season, even before the new year. So that's something to keep in mind for sure. That's coming forward for my Aquariuses. All right, I feel like grabbing some messages of love. This is the messages of love oracle card stack by All Things Intuitive. Let's take a look and see what your person wants to tell you at this time. Whoever it is that you are thinking about or focused on or are in separation from at this time, if they have the opportunity to tell you these things, whatever is in their heart space, let's take a look and see what comes forward. This could also be messages that you've been wanting to say to this person that you're thinking about. So we'll grab a few of these messages and what, whatever one you happen to resonate with, take from it what makes sense for you. Okay, what do we have? Awakening. Both people in this connection are undergoing spiritual transformations. And that's a part of the reason why you guys are not together at this time, because that is a transformation that you have to do on your own individually from a distance. So that's a good thing. That awakening process is what's going to contribute to that healing that's going on here. We have play hard coming through. Find time to laugh, goof off, and enjoy each other. And the holiday season is such a great time to take advantage of that. Next card, we have apology. You can expect the apology you want to hear from this person. And I feel here that by someone just extending themselves and just saying those two words, I'm sorry, that the healing process would just move to a whole nother level just to be able to find peace in one's heart and finally create healing in there to mend that broken heart. That's coming forward here. Okay, so let's continue. Let's go ahead and add some Fire Witch Tarot to this. Actually, before that, let me grab some Lover's Oracle. Let's grab some Lover's Oracle to add to this. So angels and spirit guides for Aquarius, please, for this bonus reading. Please bring forward whatever messages need to come through at this time for Aquarius. And let me grab this bottom card. Okay, look at this. Sound familiar? There is that new beginning and the full card promises a new beginning here. It's a fresh start. And it says, a new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. Go for it, Aquarius. Wow, that's beautiful. And there's that word again, embrace. Through each other, you find the missing pieces. So for those of you who are not together right now, I do feel that the way you see them, especially those who are relating to a soulmate type bond, you guys are not together right now and when they're not with you you feel as though a part of you a part of your heart especially is missing they are coming forward as that missing piece it's like a puzzle they are the missing piece to your puzzle they are the missing piece to your heart they are the missing piece to your soul they are the missing piece to your life through each other you find the missing pieces i feel here given some time you will be given the opportunity to start over and reconnect. There are red flags here, however, so that needs to be addressed. Whoever is wearing a false mask, that needs to be addressed as well. So there's some work here that needs to be done 
to create the healing that is necessary here, Aquarius. But I feel with the surrounding cards and you've got the sun blessing this reading, I feel ultimately you guys can work this out. Just allow that healing to happen and you guys can work this out. Okay, so let's now add to this with some Fire Witch Tarot Infinity Oracle. So angels and spirit guides, please. For Aquarius, what else do we need to know at this time? So let's add to this. What else do we need to know for this bonus reading for Aquarius? But yeah, some of you guys definitely had third parties going on. That's too many. Um, some third parties, some deception, red flags, dishonesty, a broken heart. All of those things need healing in order for you guys to move forward and build a stronger foundation for your connection moving forward into the new year. But the the potential to work it out is here, especially with that apology that somebody wants to extend in your direction, Aquarius. And it could be you as well who wants to apologize to somebody, or you both might want to do that. All right, please bring it forward. Let's take a look. What do we have here? Money, guns, and alcohol. So some of you guys may have dealt with that. Somebody who was very much into their money or very selfish with their money. They may have possession of guns and weapons or they might be drinking a little bit too much. For those of you who can relate to that, it's being represented here. Okay. It's playing enough of a factor in your life for some of you that it's being represented in this reading. So whoever is resonating with that. We also have imagination, okay? This is very sexual in nature. For those of you who have been intimate with each other and you're, you're not together at this time, your person may certainly be fantasizing about when you guys were together in a sexual way. That's coming forward here. And this could be you as well, Aquarius. Your spirit guides are here for you. They're guiding you towards a particular path that came through earlier with this guide card. So definitely pay attention to the signs, pay attention to your intuition and where you feel you are being directed. And look at this. Do you see that? It's a beautiful card. It says meant to be. Some of you that considered this person that you're focused on for this reading, Aquarius, as your person, your love of a lifetime, they are coming forward as your true love. This could certainly be somebody that you end up marrying someday, or perhaps you've already pictured yourself building a future with this person. There is certainly a potential to do that. There's an engagement here. The sun brings forward marriage and unions. There's still a spark here between the two of you, even though you guys are not together at this time. There is a new beginning that is indicated here as well as the full card telling you you can start fresh okay so that's coming through here as well all right let's add to this with some signs from spirit love oracle this is by mystic moon whoops angels and spirit guides please for aquarius what else do we need to know at this time please for aquarius Please bring it forward for me. For Aquarius. Okay, we've got black. And this says lack, rebellion, pessimism. So whoever is resonating with that. For those of you who are in a place of lack as far as money, compassion, love, however way that lack is being represented in your life. Perhaps, you know, you've just had such a rough time this year that, you know, it's caused you to go into this feeling of rebellion and pessimism to where it's very difficult for you to be optimistic about where things are going. 
And so this is certainly reflective off of that. But if you can switch the vibration of what you're putting out there energetically, that's what's going to contribute to that gained momentum in your life, whatever area it's representing, whether it's your love life, your finances, your career, your family life, other relationships, whatever has been challenged. If you can see that glass half full rather than half empty, that's going to switch the vibration that you are attracting and that's what's going to create movement here. Okay, next card is maturity, beard. So this is telling us that there has been some time that has passed between you and this person that they have actually matured since the last time you've seen them. And for some of my divine masculines, you might very well be known for your beard or for my divine feminines that are thinking of a particular gentleman here. He might be known for having a beard. So take that for however way that is being represented in this reading. Let's go ahead and grab another one. What else, please, for Aquarius? For this bonus reading, look at that. Freedom. Freedom from difficult times. Freedom from things that are stagnant. Freedom from third parties. Freedom from pain. Freedom from things that no longer serve a purpose in your life. Whatever it is that you need to be free from, Aquarius, it's now giving you the opportunity to claim that freedom for yourself in whatever area of your life you need it from. Okay, so that's coming through. All right, guys, so let's add to this with some healing messages. Some additional healing messages for Aquarius, please. Angels and spirit guides. Please bring it forward for Aquarius. Healing messages for Aquarius, please. Divine guidance, serenity, and an answered prayer. Love it. So again, you're being divinely guided. We've got that guide card coming through. Okay, so trust the direction that you are being placed on. And I do feel here, Aquarius, that this new road, wherever you're at in your life, it's going to bring you some really positive experiences moving forward in your life, especially in the new year. Okay. If things have been a little bit crazy and chaotic in your life, things are going to smooth out. This is bringing forward serenity and tranquility in your life. Yeah, that's what's coming forward. Prayers have been heard. The angels have heard your prayers. God has heard your prayers. They will be answered. Aquarius, this is coming through to let you know that your prayers will be answered. And those prayers may absolutely be answered before the end of this year, or it'll start movement to where things will come to fruition the early part of 2020. So believe in what's going on in your life. Trust the process. Trust your gut. Trust your instincts. Whatever is gaining momentum, however way this is representing itself in your life, just wait for it because I really do feel here that there's a lot of good things that are going to be coming in for you in the new year, Aquarius. Okay, so that's where I'm going to leave this, guys. I hope whatever part of this reading you were able to resonate with, I do hope that it helped you out somehow. If you are interested in your own personal private reading, all of that information is down below in the description box and I will be back very soon with more readings for you. Thank you guys so much for all of the love and support that you've shown me this year and I look forward to doing more readings for you in 2020. Take care guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.